Hello everybody, Average Gamer, and welcome to the closest game I could find to Fleet Command. Uh, Jane's Fleet Command was one of the games I played back in the day a lot. Um, this was for sure an amazing game. This is, uh, I think it's um, Arctic Warfare. Basically, it's kind of the same, but not so much. Um, it ain't the best game in the world. But, uh, close to engage. Okay, I want you to engage with just one joint strike munition, please. What? You can't hit a radar with the JSM. But this game is just a little bit more modern. Couple things I've noticed in the game. Sometimes the controls don't work. <laughs> and the graphics, not that good. Overall, it's an okay game. But, I mean, I get to do the stuff I want to do, which is fire Tomahawk cruise missiles and things like that. Though, I fired 10 Tomahawk cruise... 10, 20, 30 Tomahawk cruise missiles. Uh, 10 of each at uh, <laughs> these things here. I don't know why. No viable weapon. Okay. So you can launch your JSMs at ships... Oh, they're joint strike missiles. Then I. Oh, you're gonna go over there. You're gonna go there. The Tycos are gonna engage now with harpoons and harpoons only. Where's the rest of my fleet here? I should be able to see the other ships. I can kind of see the one there. Oh, and I can kind of see the, the carrier there. So we don't have the Wasp class carrier, so it's not too crazy. Haven't figured out how to launch aircraft. Where with something like Jane's, it's just click, 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 click. You're good to go. Here, I assumed it was you go to flight deck, select your aircraft here, and then tell them to go to the launch queue. And they would launch. But it turns out... They don't? Do I have L to launch you? F, to, F opens the menu. Oh, actually, hold on. Ultra. Okay, the game looks... Almost the same. This basically looks like just a re-rendered version of of Jane's Flickman. I mean, that is ridiculous, but I mean the models are a little bit better, but this is ultra settings. Which is just crazy when I think about it.
But yeah, so I still haven't figured out how to launch aircraft. Um, even my, like, the aircraft that I have that are currently in the air are aircraft that... I just put in the air myself. You can go half speed. Go half speed as well, because there's no other anti-air. These aircraft can fly forever. What's this? Let's turn your radars on. Your aircraft. You're gonna, you're already spotted. Let's try to launch some harpoons. Okay. So, Battle Planner, I want to launch a harpoon. Specifically... I'm going to say you fire one harpoon and one harpoon only. Battle Planner. Harpoon. Minimum strength. Ah, so I'm not in range for the harpoons yet, so I'm going to have to wait. In the meantime, how is my carrier doing? Wait a second. Do you select the aircraft and then tell it where to fly? Oh my god, you do. And they just go completely vertical. So you... This is already so hard. Okay, so, you. Movement planner. You're going to go cruise speed here, and you're going to come over here. Uh, you are going to go max speed. Stay the current height, and go there. You're also going to turn on your radar. Because you have missiles. You have Hellfire 2 missiles, which have, like, no range. <laughs> like, okay. Interesting. Oh, and then a message popped up. There we go. Alright. I'm going to order... You, you, and you. Can I group you up? I can group you up. There. I want you guys in a group. You're going there. You're going there. You're going there. Oh, I just sent the entire group. No, I just sent the ships. Okay. So, can I not just select the ships? I can, okay. Wait, I'm missing a ship. I'm missing you, okay. So you're all gonna go there. Uh, overall, everything's gonna be as is, but you're gonna go military speed and your steam formation. And I want to see what the range is for the harpoons. So 
So these guys are almost in range of the harpoons. And my tomahawks turn away. Oh, these are the... Okay, never mind. These are the... Oh. Wait, is that like... Okay, for some reason, I thought it was off the ground. Um, this thing's about to be hit by the tomahawks. I think. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> You look like you're about to be engaged by... Oh, yep, you're shooting at him. It looks like it's... Yeah, I don't... Yeah, the graphics of this are pretty bad. Missiles are coming in. I see it. Boom! Target destro- Okay. So I destroyed one ship and the mission was over. Exit to menu here. Uh, okay, game. <laughs> I definitely think it's... Uh, it was toted as the spiritual successor to uh, Jane's Fleet Command. It is not. Um... UI, not intuitive. Um, certain things I like about the controls, like you can tell it what levels of altitude and uh, speed and things like that instead of the usual shift one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Um, realism, no. Um, especially the flight deck mechanics, not intuitive whatsoever. The missile systems, not intuitive. Uh, especially because it fires 10 Tomahawk cruise missiles at one target. It's like, well, it's going to fire the default amount, which is all of them. Um, overall, I'll say, fun game. But I can't see this game being something that I will be playing on a long-term basis. Um, we tried it. Naval Arctic Circle. Nope. See you next time. Bye-bye.